Aaron Davey, not quite as sharp as last time out. What were you seeing from him on the mound? Yeah, I actually thought he was pretty good. Um, you know, he always has that moxie to kind of make a pitch. Obviously, Mount Castle got him with the big homer. But, um, you know, I thought he settled in. He made a lot of big pitches when he needed to. Um, you know, had to work a little harder, obviously, you know, a lot of pitches to get through to where he did. But um, over, overall, I thought he competed really well and, and, you know, gave us a chance to win the game. Did you learn anything more about him having to try to overcome some adversity tonight? Um, I guess just confirms, you know, he's fun to watch compete out there because not much affects him, but he, but he, but in his way, he's very competitive and uh, and he's and he's got some moxie out there to kind of kind of figure it out, you know, that ability to really kind of add and subtract, and uh, um, he did that tonight. You brought in Clark Schmidt in the fifth. What went into that decision? Why did you decide to go with Schmidt? Yes, you know, I, I really wanted Davey to get through, but didn't really want to go over 90. And so I, <clears throat> I was probably, probably going to be at Severino. I was going to get him, but I really wanted to try and get him through that fifth. And then once Severino got the hit as well, um, just felt like he was past where his pitch count probably was. And um and and just necessity. I mean, we're kind of down everyone. So kind of the plan going in was going to be Davey to Clark and, and see if we could get through it. And I actually thought Clark did a good job in, in what's a unique spot for him. Obviously, as a starting pitcher, that's a that's a tough uh, first big league assignment. And he came in and I thought did a good job of spinning his breaking ball right away. And, you know, <clears throat> probably the breaking ball maybe a little too up, but but generated some weak contact from Mount Castle and just out of the reach of Wader. And then, and then obviously they, they scored a few runs off him. So not an ideal situation to bring him in, but, but by need and glad he got out there to, to get one under his belt. Aaron, what did you say to Schmidt prior to the game, knowing that he's not really familiar with coming in out of the pen? Um, the Clark's, you know, I think you were around him a little, he's, you know, like Davey, he's got a lot of confidence and a lot of ability or a lot of belief in his ability when he gets on the mound. So I wasn't too worried about that part of him. You know, in between games when we made the decision that we were going with Clark, we kind of told him quick and he was he was ready to go and excited. And um, so I wasn't worried so much about him from a psyche standpoint. I thought he'd be fine. And I, and I actually thought he did. I thought they, they dinged him a little bit, but... Um, you know, his compete was good, and, um, you know, I'm glad he's got it under his belt now. Thank you, Aaron. Mm -hmm. Next one goes to Eric Bowen. Aaron, you uh, you said you were down pretty much everyone in the bullpen. Did you have – who did you have that you could have gone to? Um, <clears throat> Not necessarily in that situation, but – Yeah, you hurry and Abreu um, was really it, and, and that's a big reason. One of the reasons we went with – with Clark to add to the roster because we needed the length. You know, we were staying away from Greeny today and I, I still used him because it was just such a big spot, you know, for the third day in a row, which we haven't done. Someone told me in a couple of years. Um, so, you know, most of all, the rest of the guys were all all pretty much down. So we we had Clark's length and a little bit of your hurry and, and Abreu's. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ken Davidoff, please unmute. Yeah, just to, to clarify, so Sasha was not in the mix. He I think he no. said on Wednesday. Yeah, he was two two plus innings, three up. So he was he was an emergency um, situation. Uh, but yeah, one more day with him. And, uh, and understanding you were in a jam. Understanding Schmidt Harley got clobbered, as you said, right. so bad one. As the, that's going through, is there any hesitation? Like, man, this is really a, a tough spot to throw a guy in his in his big league debut. No, you know, with what we have and, and what I know of, of Clark and what we believe in from the makeup standpoint, um, you know, was pretty convicted to roll with them. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Next question to Mark Feinsand. Aaron, I know this is sort of it's one of those quirky things. You guys hadn't lost to Baltimore since last March. Uh, you hadn't lost in Baltimore since the previous July. Uh, can you sort of look back at this run and that kind of dominance over one team for that kind of a long, that 
period of time what goes into something like that yeah i mean a little fluky um you know I, I, we we've pulled some games out over the last year plus that you know didn't necessarily feel like we were going to win we've gotten some big big hits late some big homers um you know so one of those that was obviously bound to end but um yeah i, I think more more a little bit fluky to, to have that kind of run Max Goodman, please unmute. Hey, Aaron, uh, box score aside, what is it like to have your top two pitching prospects up with the big league club moving forward now? Yeah, excited that, you know, for, for Davey now to have a couple starts under his belt and, and, and really to have pitched well and, and now Clark. And, um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're obviously excited about both of those guys and their talent and, and – the kind of pitchers that we believe that they can turn into and and now they're here playing an important role for us.